What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we're back with Recreating History here on PCM 2020 coming off a wonderful win at Paris-Roubaix. Make sure you go back and check out that race if you haven't watched it. I really enjoyed that one and today we have the penultimate episode because we have Liège, Bast on Liège, which was won by Simon Gerrans. As always guys, I will drop a link to the start list in my Discord server so make sure you're joined up. I'll leave a link in the comments below. Also, I will leave a link to Cosmo Catalano's How the Race Was Won. Really good analysis going through the race and showing Garen's victory. But looking quickly at the start list today, Mikhail Kwiatkowski was on the podium back in 2014. Joaquin Rodriguez wasn't close, but Gianpaolo Caruso was very close. I think he was right there in the final. We have Nibali and Fulsang here. Zan Martin, always a favourite in the Ardennes Classics. Bardet is here alongside Betancourt. Alejandro Valverde, of course, he has won this race so many times. He is the man we need to try and somehow beat today. Phil Gilbert as well, a winner, of course, of Liège, Baston Liège. Simon Gerrans here is the man. Not the strongest rider on paper, but he does have a good kick compared to many of the other pure punches. You can see we don't have the strongest team on paper. I can see Peter Vaining here. Simon Clark as well. Fun team for us, including Michael Albacini as well. Chris Froome actually did come to the race in 2014. It'll be interesting if we can spot him in the final today. Yellow Van Enders, of course, an Ardennes specialist. We have the likes of Rui Costa, Diego Ulissi as well for Lamprey. I really am a big fan of that jersey, by the way. Tom Vauclair, always dangerous in races like this. I'm sure we'll see him attacking at some points. Kreuziger, Molimer is here as well. Quite a few contenders, to be fair with a young Tom de Milan. Look at those attributes right there. Very interesting to see. Warren Bargill as well, 22 years old. We have both Schleck brothers here. Shame to see Andy Schleck, a shadow of his former self at this point in his career. And then you can see the final riders in the race today. Oh, and it's a rough start for us today here in Belgium because we were lucky back in Peru Bay with Terpstra, but Simon Gerrans gets a minus two, making this even more difficult. So I've been trying numerous times to get someone in today's breakaway. MP is going to try one final time. I've tried Clark, Albacini, a few others as well, but it seems every time we try, they try and chase us down. So the Peloton refused to let any of our guys in the main group at the front, but you can see we do have 10 riders now in the breakaway, including South African champ, Louis Mikez. So we do now enter the first climb in the final 100k. Plenty of climbing to take place here. And you can see Gerrans just struggling to stay with the tempo due to such a hard tempo on the front and also a poor race day. This is just going to be so difficult with Simon Gerrans. So the breakaway still leads, but I can tell you we have just had one of the most explosive climbs I have seen here at Liège, Baston Liège, because we have 36 Riders at the front. Look at Simon Guerin's energy. He is done. He is so tired. I cannot see how we have any chance of recreating his win today. But caught in the group behind, we have Seymour Geschke here. I know we have some other strong riders. Ruta Pools, Domenico Pozzovivo as well. Just plenty of super strong riders are already behind. I'm trying so hard to cling on to this group with Guerin's, but 60k still to go. The pace is just so hard for him. So, so hard for him. Peter Vaining even is feeling better than him right now. So I'm going to try and just stay here. Hope the pace slows down, which it has for now, luckily for us, because we were about to get drops right there. And this group behind seems to be rejoining. So hopefully that means we'll have a slowing of the tempo. But really, uh, nibbly on the front, so much firepower still in this group. So we have just had a major rejoining. 80 riders are now back together in the front group. But I hope many of those riders that were caught behind are gonna really struggle here. And that was another brutal climb. Frank Schleck out the back, 42, suddenly at the front again. So this has been whittled down straight away. And we're just trying to conserve because we have some climbs coming up, of course, but if we can recover that yellow, I think we can try and get to the finish. And the important thing to note is we do have quite a few teammates feeling good. Probably would be better for go for go uh, to go for someone like Albacini or even Peter Vaining. Um, on a normal day but of course we're trying to recreate Simon Guerin's win and if he can get to that finish he does have the kick and the sprint to hopefully finish it off and the tempo has been so much that Tim Wellens 
world champ Rui Costa is out the back right now, showing how hard this has been. Okay, so we're to the back of the group and we're now seeing some attacks take place to the front. Let's put all our guys on effort cursor just to try and stay with the tempo. And this could be dangerous because Vokler, Van and Zertz, Joaquin Rodriguez trying to attack off the front. But Valverde is still here. And as long as Valverde is here, I'm not too worried because he is the favourite. He is the man we need to watch out for. 23 riders are now in this group. So this is a very dangerous move. I would love to have joined this with Gerens. We just don't have the strength right now. I'm relying on other teams. Vincenzo Nibli, the Shark, trying to hunt down De Moulin, Molima, Bessenker, Joaquin Rodriguez, probably the best rider in this group. Van and Dirt and Tom Vauclair. I thought we'd see him attacking and there it is. But now we have one of the hardest hills remaining on course. Let's go to 95 and here we go. We now have the attacks of Valverde, Kwiatkowski, Gilbert as well. Garen's trying to stay here with Maya in support. Let's try and go like this and all the groups have now rejoined. So this is perfect for us. Rui Koshla is somehow back in. We need Veening staying to the front if he can. Gerens try and stay here too. And we do have a few splits forming, but we are just about able to stay here as Veening has been caught behind, unfortunately. But look at this. It all comes back together until Kwiatkowski attacks right here. Maya trying to do some work for Gerens. If we can use our teammates over this climb, that would be excellent for us. Let's try and get on Peter Veining's wheel here. Maya's still here too. So we do have some good support. Let's put Maya on the front, relaying at 85. Gerens can sit up right now in this group and we have a few attacks off the front that should be fine Maya can work to try and bring that in we have Martin Quieto Valverde and Rodriguez a massive four riders to go off the front with 13k to go so still here we have Moreno Froome is here Gasparotto Demoulin Vauclair Gilbert is in this group as well Ulysses too uh, and Costa is working for him and hopefully this group will be brought in pretty shortly right now we have just a few climbs remaining 10k to go and i think these groups are about to rejoin due to the work surprisingly so of uh, rui koshta and they go everyone comes back together but now an attack and it's chris room and tom de moulin the gc guys trying to win it here at liege baston liege gerens is holding on right now we're gonna have to go 95 we may even lose Peter Veining here, but if we can stay here, that would be excellent. Hopefully no attacks. Kwiatkowski goes, Valverde goes, and I get the feeling we need to try and follow this if we can with Simon Gerrans. But look how difficult this is. Can we rely on Peter Veining? Not too much longer with 5k to go. Quieto and Valverde are just about going off the front. So we don't have too much left, sadly, with Gerrans coming into the final 3k we have Quieto and Valverde who have stretched away they're attacking each other too but if we can hold on for a sprint in the final can we try and catch them here with Gerens we're leading it out from the group behind and here we go Costa is coming Van and Dirt as well will jump in his wheel but I think it will be between Valverde and Quieto today we can try and sprint but Quieto versus Valverde and it is a procession Valverde wins again here at Liège Baston Liège Gerens We'll get a top five and really I'm pretty happy with that because a minus two day made it very, very difficult, but a fun race nonetheless. Well, I really hoped we could do it here, guys. In the end though, Garen's just not quite strong enough on that big minus two day. That attack by Valverde and Quieto in the end is what seals our fate. I think if we were there in the final, we could have had a chance trying to take it in a sprint over the top of that hill. But in the end, a top five isn't the worst result. So we're currently two for two here in recreating history. Let's see if we can end with a positive record heading to Italy for Il Lombardia with a certain Irishman. Dan Martin is the man we're trying to recreate that win with. But guys, if you enjoyed today, hit that like button, drop a sub on my channel as well if you're new and I will see you in the next one.